The Special Resurrection, September 30. It was at midnight that God chose to deliver his people. As the wicked were mocking around them, suddenly the sun appeared, shining in his strength, and the moon stood still. Dark, heavy clouds came up and clashed against each other. But there was one clear spot in the sky uh, where God's glory was seen and Christ was coming to deliver his children. Understand that there was a mighty earthquake and the graves were opened and those who died in uh, those graves died living for Christ. Uh, they rose from the grave to see Christ in all his glory. Those who died under the third angel's message uh, rose to hear the covenant of God renewed with his people to see his glorious entry. Look what the Bible says in Daniel chapter 12 and verse 2. And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life and some to shame and everlasting uh, contempt. Now, let's pay attention to this scripture carefully. It says, and many, not all, but many, but many of them that sleep or that uh, die in the dust of the earth, in the graves, shall awake. In other words, they shall arise. Many of them that uh, died in the Lord and uh, even the wicked will arise. Some would arise to everlasting life and some would arise to everlasting shame and uh, contempt. Uh, but understand that as we consider this, we get the picture uh, that this special resurrection will be as Christ makes his entrance. Uh, those who died under the third angel's message will rise up uh, to hear him declare the covenant with men. And those who pierce him in the side will also get up to see him coming in the clouds of glory as king of kings and lord of lords. Uh, understand that the scripture says that some will rise up to everlasting life and some will rise up to shame and contempt. Uh, understand today uh, that you might be wondering if you will be part of the righteous. Uh, understand that in order to be part of the righteous, you must be living for Christ now. Why not let us purpose in our hearts to trust in his word today? Let us purpose in our hearts today to live uh, for Jesus Christ so that when he comes, indeed, we will hear that covenant renewed between God and man. Uh, let us pray. Father in heaven, we just pray uh, that we would live for you right now. We surrender our hearts to you, Father. And on this uh, last uh, final day of September, we pray, O oh God, that we would renew our covenants with you and we pray that you will grant us that peace. Uh, thank you so much for being our Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Remember, my dear friends, the power of the word every day will keep the enemy at bay.